six, a car initially traveling east with a speed of five meters per second. Let's uh, jot down the givens as we go here. So it's initially traveling east with a speed of five meters per second. So V initial equals five meters per second. And it's accelerated uniformly at two meters per second squared. So it's accelerating uniformly at two meters per second squared and that's happening for 10 seconds so the amount of time is 10 seconds in a straight line during this 10 second interval the car travels a total distance of what so we want to know d the total distance so let's see we have uh, initial velocity a constant acceleration and a time that this whole thing's happening we want a distance so if you go over to your handy formula sheet and you look at your mechanics equations and you, you look at the ones that uh, you know have these variables in it and have d in it and that's the one you should ultimately find is this one and that's the name of the game you write down the variables you have and what information you know and what you want to find and you figure out the equation that's going to work for you but you have to be able to extract from this paragraph what the uh, what variables the numbers correspond to and what they mean. So in this case, we want the distance, so we got to plug them in. So the initial velocity was five meters per second, and I'll write the units in. You don't always have to do this, but it's good practice uh, seeing the units cancel out, and I I want to show you that. So the time was ten seconds, and that's plus one half the acceleration which is two meters per second squared times the time squared which again is ten seconds and that is being squared so the distance is so now seconds times seconds that cancels out we have fifty meters plus one half times two is one meters per second squared times 10 squared, but the seconds is also squared, right? So this is 100 seconds squared. So second squared cancels with second squared, and you get uh, 1 half times 2 is 1, so it's 100 meters. And D equals 150 meters. That's how far it would travel in the 10 seconds. And they've given it to us in scientific notation, so that's the same as 1.5 times 10 to the second, right? Because 10 to the second is 100, so 1.5 times 100 is 150. 4 is the answer.